Hello friends and hello enemies. Today is a very special day on the Weekly Allowance channel because I've finally gotten my grubby little hands on an Aloy action figure. This is a day I thought would never come. There hasn't been a ton of Horizon merch for reasons unknown to me because it is a fantastic series, despite what the haters think. Uh, so when Spin Master announced that they would be making not only Aloy, but a bunch of other characters from different PlayStation games, I was very excited. They're also making a Varl, which we also have ordered. Don't know when Varl is going to get here, but we have Aloy for now. I was so excited for this figure, and I wanted it so bad because I am such a fan of Horizon that I did something that I had never done before and will never do again. And that is that I contacted Spin Master and used my toy reviewer cred to ask if they'd be interested in a partnership, if they would send me an Aloy and I would review it. And I never heard back. I'm not the kind of person who likes to ask for things. I'm not really the type of person who expects people to give me things, but I thought, give it a shot. I had to muster up a lot of courage to do that and then I never heard back. It's fine. That's fine. I just saw that they were giving them to other toy reviewers and I was like, I'll give it a shot just because I love Horizon so much. But yeah, I guess it didn't really work out, but it did work out in a different way because I did eventually get this one. Just, I'm your girl when it comes to Horizon. I can give you all the lore. I can tell you the names of all the characters. I can tell you the function of each machine because I'm a nerd. Anyway, there will be plenty of time to talk about how much I love Horizon. So let's look at the packaging. You get a slip cover at first. It's got some nice shiny details on top of the mat. I love the use of the triangle pattern. Aloy, Nora Huntress outfit. On the side, you get a representation of everything that she comes with. 42 points of articulation. Beautiful promotional illustration of Aloy on the back. I love this image of her. And then you have the full illustration for Forbidden West on this side. So let's remove the slipcover and see what is underneath. Horizon gets um, a lot of hate for some reason. <laughs> I mean, it's a popular game, but whenever I go on Reddit and I see someone mention Horizon, there's always like two or three people that come out of the woodwork that are like, actually Horizon's not good and Aloy sucks and it's just an Ubisoft game. Everyone has different opinions on different things, but just like the need some people feel to like disparage this game out of nowhere is just very strange to me. I kind of wonder if like half the people who talk smack about Horizon have never actually played it. So yeah, there is that box art again. It's so beautiful. On this side you get the full illustration including the Sunwing. Another beautiful piece of art on the back. The art for this series is just gorgeous at all times. So you open it up. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. I've kind of glanced at a couple reviews for this figure, but I've never seen someone actually open the box, so it was a surprise to me to have it laid out this way. It looks really nice. She is a deluxe figure, so she is more expensive than the other figures they are coming out with, I believe. And like, for instance, the Varl figure that is coming out is just going to be him and a spear, I think. He doesn't get all this stuff. So yeah, she's in her own little niche. And then the accessories are in this second little compartment. Just gonna pull those out. Man, they really went all out on the packaging on this. It looks so good. I don't think I've ever gotten a Spin Master figure, so I don't really know what they're all about. I've heard that people like this one. It looks amazing from what I see so far. The only thing I'm noticing is that this particular faceplate, her eyes are to the side, which I don't prefer because she's like always giving side eye. I prefer it when they're straight ahead. Is there going to be a head where she's looking? Okay, yeah, there's a faceplate where she's looking straight ahead. I will have some things to say about these faceplates, so just stay tuned for that. I know everyone is super excited to hear my opinion. So I had never heard of Spin Master before. I don't really know what else they have made before they began making this PlayStation line, but when this Aloy figure was announced and I found out that Spin Master was supposed to make it, I was like, do they have good toys? And the consensus seemed to be no, but I don't know. But this looks amazing and I haven't seen anyone really complain about it or have problems with it. And to be fair, I was like, <sighs> Well, even if it's bad, I'm going to get it because it's Horizon and we don't have much Horizon stuff. She is pretty small, but that is not a problem for me. She looks amazing. She looks beautiful. The paint on this is so 
good. There are a few places where I would have liked a little bit more shadowing on the leather parts of her costume, but other than that, I mean, all these tiny little details are painted so intricately, like this netting on her boot, all these sashes, she's got some rope right here, the cords on her gauntlets, her hair is beautiful, several different tones in her hair from bright red to like a smoky burnt umber. Her face looks great. She's got a little bit of a smirk. The tiny, tiny focus. You can even see that her eyes are green. She's got a little bit of sunburn on her cheeks, some freckles. Oh, she looks so good. And the hair. Of course, you got to get the hair right. The hair is very important when it comes to Aloy. And so I didn't realize this until just a few days ago I learned that her hair is actually on ball joints. So like if you need it flowing in the wind, you can do that. Apparently it does come off easily though. Even the bits that are hanging over her shoulders are on joints. So it might be a little frustrating if other pieces come out, but it should be great for photos and for posing. On another figure, that hair would get in the way of all the head movement, but her movement is really great. Look, she can look up so far, chin to chest, so much head movement. And she's got a neck joint too. I love a neck joint. Her top braids will kind of slip underneath these larger chunks of hair, so Watch out for that. This furry shawl is just an overlay, so the parts on the shoulders won't impede our movement, or they shouldn't. Let's see, up. Swivel on the arm. You get another swivel at the bicep, and it's hidden by this sleeve. Single elbow. Hopefully that'll still work well for her bow poses. She's got a swivel at the wrist, but it doesn't seem to want to move up and down. It might be a little bit stuck. What about this wrist? No, this one moves, but yeah, I think this one is stuck a little bit. And I'm I'm a little nervous to mess with it more because these hands are so tiny. All sorts of movement on the torso and also down at the waist. Got a really good crunch. No, um, no twist at the waist, however. These leather pieces are rubbery and should get out of the way of leg movement. Yeah, she can even move her leg pretty far back too. We do get a double knee. However, it's not much use. Oftentimes, we run into the problem of characters being so muscly that their muscles run into each other, and even if they have a double elbow or a double knee, the muscles are just too big. In Aloy's case, her boots are just too big. She's got some big, chunky boots. Well, it works a little bit better on this one. I guess this boot is less chunky. Now, the foot situation is interesting because Aloy wears, like, uh, these moccasins. So they're very flat, and in order to get articulation, they're very disconnected from the rest of the boot. That might be a problem when it comes to making her stand up or trying to have her hold a certain pose. But there's a rock on that. There should be a, a back and forth, yeah. Parts of her are kind of wanting to stick a little bit. There's also a toe joint, which would be good for like a stalking pose, but other than that, it kind of just adds to the destability of the figure. But so far, she seems to stand up on her own okay. But she's also not doing anything crazy and she's not holding any of her weapons or anything. Yeah, just from messing with her, I've gotten her all kind of knocked out of alignment. All right, here we go. So in addition to all that, the rope on her belt can rotate. If you ever have need for rotating rope, rope tate. We already touched on the hair dealies. Three separate sections in the back that can move independently of one another. And then these two in the front. But they are permanently kind of in the resting over the shoulder pose, given their shape. And I don't think Aloy ever has all of her hair behind her. There's always a little bit in front. Her hair kind of has like a mind of its own. So I am pleasantly surprised by this figure. I kind of <laughs> was not expecting it to be great, but it looks fantastic. The articulation is pretty good. I've heard people say that it feels a little gummy, and I can agree with that. It's a little gummy in some ways. Some of the joints don't seem what to want to move like they should. I think they're just a little stuck. But they're also small, so I don't want to push it too hard. Might have to heat her up, but that's going to make her even more gummy and loose. I really don't think she needs loosening up. She is just that one hand. So, she also has a lot of accessories, as you saw, so let's look at those. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. Hands. Boring for me, at least. She comes with some fists. Very tiny. Very tiny hands. She comes with holding things hands. And she'll come with arrow firing hands. This hand in particular can also do a uh, triple duty as arrow firing hand, pointing hand, and a focus activating hand. So weapons, we get a very beautiful bow. Um, I guess I'm not 
that much of a Horizon freak because I forget what this bow is called. I think it just might be her standard bow. Like, she gets all these different weapons and stuff, especially in Forbidden West. There's like a billion different weapons. Hot take. Too many weapons. I love Horizon, but there's a lot of things I would change about Forbidden West. Zero Dawn for me was a perfect game, but Horizon, they kept on trying to do too much, I think. Just too many options for weapons. So the string is like an elastic, so you should be able to actually pull it back when you're getting her into a pose. So that's pretty neat. Decorated with machine parts and feathers. Just a nice mixture of machine and nature. We have a quiver, of course, because you gotta have somewhere to store them arrows. Just a simple little thing, a little bit of spot silver for some accents, some yellow on the tips of the arrows. We get an arrow to knock into her bow. Again, a little simple but very necessary inclusion. So that will be great for poses and pictures. And to round out the weapon set, we get her spear. Again, a mixture of machine parts and parts found in nature. Coiling, running down the shaft. At the bottom is the override module for machines, so she can um, brainwash machines and get them to fight for her. So she has these areas on her back and her side where we should be able to lug these bad boys in. Put this quiver in this hole right here. It's in there, but it's not a very satisfying fit. It kind of feels like it wants to fall out, but it's pretty sturdy. And this is cool, so for whatever weapon she's not using, you can clip onto her back onto this peg here. So the spear has this tiny little hole in it. Lift up her hair and just Hug it right there. You do need to adjust the hair a little bit afterwards because both the hair and the spear can't occupy the same place. And you also get the same kind of deal with the bow. There's a tiny hole in the middle. Just clip it onto her back. The bow is a little bit more forgiving when it comes to the hair. <laughs> Part of the reason why I love Aloy's design is that she is always kitted out. Like, she has so many resources on her. She's got the spear. She's got the bow. She's got hair flying everywhere. She's got pouches for days. She's got a quiver. She is just ready for whatever life is going to throw at her. So far, it's thrown a lot. I guess some people find Aloy's abrasiveness as a character um, unpleasant, but that's always strange to me because like those same kind of people are really into Kratos, for instance. I don't know. Aloy is sassy and I like that. I'm very excited to get the Varl figure because Varl is one of my favorite characters from Horizon. And I am very shocked that they are making a Varl figure. So now we move on to the faceplate situation. And I will show you all the faceplates and then we will see if we can switch one out. Let's start with, um, what we start with? The standard faceplates. So she has another faceplate just staring straight ahead, determined, which is nice. The other one's got a bit of a side eye, a bit of a smirk. This one is serious, looking right ahead. Then we get an angry attack face, mouth open. She has perfect teeth for a cave woman. Uh, and then we move on to these other faceplates. So she has a different expression in each one, but also each one has different tribe makeup on it. So here is kind of a surprised face with the Utaru face paint. Here we get kind of a stoic, determined face with Tanakh face paint. And then we get um, this happy... Oh, she's so happy. She's so happy here. We get this happy, smiling Aloy. She's having a great time with Utaru face paint. I have opinions on the uh, face paint. First of all, it looks great. No complaints there. Uh, the applications look great. The face sculpts look great. It's, as a her it's just that as a Horizon nerd, I think A, I would have preferred these just without any, any face paint, just her standard face, uh, just with these different expressions. B, it's weird to include Banuk face paint because they're not even in Forbidden West. They're in a DLC in uh, Zero Dawn, but other than that, they're not really, um, you don't see them in Forbidden West, which is kind of a bummer because the Banuk are really interesting. They're a really interesting tribe. And see, we get all these face paints from all these different tribes, but we don't get Nora face paint. So Aloy is from the Nora tribe, a matriarchal society that lives in the mountains of what was once Colorado. She doesn't really identify with the Nora because they kicked her out for not having a mother. They're highly, highly matriarchal. If you don't have a mom, then, um, you're pretty much screwed, which is, I think, something else people didn't like about the game because they were like, oh, they're saying that this matriarchal society is a utopia. It's like, no, they're, they're not saying that. This matriarchal society is so, like, superstitious that they kicked a baby out of their tribe. Anyway, I could go on a whole tangent. The point is, is that she doesn't really identify as Anora because of that. 
but it still would have been great to have, if you're going to do these face paints, have a Nora face paint. There's one face paint in particular that would be really cool, and it's called the Death Seeker face paint, and a Death Seeker was what her adoptive father was, so it would be really nice to have that kind of callback to him with the inclusion of that Nora paint. So far, that's pretty much my main complaint about this figure, is the inclusion of these random face paints and not giving us a Nora one. But I mean, I can't complain too hard because these look fantastic and we get a lot of stuff. It's not like we're we're hurting for accessories. But yeah, it would just make a little bit more sense, I think, because this is the Nora Huntress outfit, and so to have, like, a Nora decoration on her face would be nice. Having this clarified as the Nora Huntress outfit also makes me wonder if they are going to be releasing her in different outfits. So we might have the option for some Nora face paint in the future. Having some different outfits would be so cool. There's so many different awesome looking outfits in Horizon. This is for sure one of my favorites, but there are so many cool designs to choose from. So yeah, that would be something really neat to see in the future. But en enough of me rambling on about face paint. I'm sure you were sick of that by now. Let us see if we can change her face out. Let's give her a yelling expression. Oh, Aloy, hey, your face comes off so easily. <laughs> Terrifying. Turned out that Aloy was a machine all along. And on the inside, there's a little happy face. So you just plug that right on. Very easy. Super easy to change those out. Let's look at the hands. Let's see if the hands are going to be an issue. They're very small. Okay. So it's easy to remember for her because the bare hand goes in this arm. And then you've got a little bit of a glove on the tip of this one goes in this arm. So let's see if she can hold her bow. So there is a little knock in the bow. A little slot where the arrow can kind of slip in and rest. I do wish it was a little more pronounced and that the arrow could kind of more clip in than just rest there because as it is it wants to fall a little bit. But if you place it on this area with the stripes it kind of fits in a little bit more snugly. Still not perfect but yeah obviously this is a very lame, <laughs> a lame bow firing pose but I just kind of wanted to see how it worked. I don't think it would take much more effort to get it to look natural. I'm just not, you, you guys know, I'm not very good at posing. Patrick's good at it. I'm, I'm not so much. But yeah, isn't that cool? You can bend that string back. I think for a bow, it kind of you kind of want it to be up. I guess that depends. Oh, she's fighting a thunder jaw. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, man. Let's put her spear on her back just to complete the image. Oh, well, she fell over and it knocked the, the arrow out. Yeah, it's going to take some, some work getting those feet planted. Her feet are also very small. Don't let me down, Aloy. You're our only hope. Yes, she looks so good. She looks very cool. Very cool. So unfortunately, until Varl comes out, there's not really any other Horizon figures that will scale with her. This is the uh, Motoroid Thunderjaw model kit. And as you can see, it's way, 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 way too small. It could be like a mini Thunderjaw, <laughs> like a Thunderjaw pet for her. But yeah, this is much smaller than um, an actual Thunderjaw would be when scaled against her. Still looks cool. They look good together. Um, I didn't do a review on this one, but while we're here, I will say that I really, I really like this model. Um, it was a bit deceptive though, because the finished product doesn't really look much like the images they were advertising. Like there's a lot I had to do myself, a lot of paint I had to put on myself, and even then I didn't really go <laughs> all out. I just did like the barest, the barest necessary paint. It's also very finicky and like kind of lightweight model. I'm used to building um, Kota Bakuya Zoids, so I was expecting something of that quality and it's not quite there, but I am very glad to have this. I love robots. I love dinosaurs. I love robot dinosaurs. So I also have this little tiny watcher that came with the Aloy Nindroid. Also <laughs> doesn't scale to her because a real watcher would be about this tall against her. But it is very cute. It's very cute. I will say that some of the face plates are a little squished. They're a little bit misshapen and so it's harder to get them on. They don't adhere quite as nicely to the rest of the head. Kind of have to shove them in. It's not too bad but yeah, a few of these aren't aren't conforming that well, much like Aloy herself. So I do have some things to compare her to. This is Hasbro's Holga from the Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves movie. As you can see, 
The Spin Master figure runs very small. Hasbro is like standard size figure and she's even smaller than that. But you got two barbarian ladies. Pretty cool. I got this Holga figure before they announced Aloy and I was kind of thinking about turning her into a custom Aloy <laughs> as if I ever would have the uh, the attention span for that. Now I don't need to do it. Here is the 1000 Toys Synthetic Humanoid Female. And they're much closer in scale. I think Aloy could definitely kill this thing. I think she would also be very disturbed by it. She's used to robot animals, not robot humans. Here we have another Hasbro figure with the Fortnite Raptor. And that uh, pairs pretty well. It's not a robot raptor, but it's at least a raptor. And that's halfway there. One of my big wishes is that Spin Master or someone will make a machine figure to scale with Aloy, like one of the uh, one of the ones that she can ride into battle. In the game, she can ride robot raptors called claw striders. That would be really neat. Also, be very large. They're pretty big creatures. But even just like a strider or something, a robot horse or a robot ram would be really cool. Ah, I want that so bad. Spin Masters, please make a machine, make a Horizon machine. <laughs> Do you think Aloy could win against a skeleton? I think so. I think it'd be pretty easy for her. But yeah, even the smaller scale of this foosh skeleton uh, is still pretty big against her. I guess some people might have a problem with the scale of these, but I... You guys know me. I don't... I don't really have any hang-ups about scale. I do want a scale machine for her to ride into battle, but that's because she actually needs to sit on top of it. And then we have a Mythic Legion's Valiant Knight, which is so much bigger than her, it doesn't even want to fit in my viewfinder. So yeah, it's a small figure, but I think that's fine. So yes, honestly, love this figure, super happy with it. A few tiny nitpicks, but those mostly <laughs> arise from me being a total Horizon nerd. Super excited for Varl, super excited to pair them up. I hope that they make more characters. I would love to see Erend. I would love to see Catalo. I love Catalo. He's one of those characters that you think you're gonna hate, but then you actually love. More cool female figures like um, Talana. But anyway, yep. I love this figure, um, and lessons learned, never reach out to a toy company ever again. <laughs> Anyways, as always, likes and subscribes are very much appreciated, comments are more than welcome. Sorry for being such a nerd, but I love this series so much. And I will see you guys on the next one.